Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawings channel on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to draw this King Cobra but uh, let's not talk about it, let's, let's just do it. Well I've had several people ask me um, to do snakes recently and I know Thomas particularly asked me to do a cobra so I'm doing this kind of Mm, what would you call that? Well, it's an ellipse, isn't it? And then that will need to curl around. Um, and this is where the... Um, this is the, the kind of the head... The, 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 the neck part of it. And then that is going to curl around. And it's kind of following... Following these kind of outside lines, which will then become... That will become the kind of the back. But then that comes up and that becomes the top of the body. So, and then that becomes the bottom of the body. You'll see how it all kind of comes together. Now, it kind of curls around itself and forms this loop to, to um, balance itself. And then that will kind of curl out there. So then what we kind of want is that will be going there. And it's kind of keeping the, the thickness right all the way through is kind of the tricky part. Um, and then we'll want that kind of coming there and it will be starting to get thinner um, as it goes well it'll be more than starting to get thinner it'll be it will be getting thinner as you go to the back so you're getting a kind of perspective kind of look as well that it's kind of going off into the distance as well um, now what we want to do is this so this is kind of the back so it's kind of the, the top of it and this will come kind of around um, the, the kind of like that and then that will become this line will become the top here but then it will swing around to become the top of the body there does that make sense and and then it will follow the the top of the body that will be kind of coming there and then around the back. So that it's not quite fishy like, but it's that the, the body's not sort of circular. It is slightly triangular. Okay, and that's kind of the, the feel that we're trying to get with that. Um, and this will kind of come up and it does kind of just widens out a little bit. Uh, under the head and then you'll want the head coming there and kind of an eye there and an eye there um, and and then we want this kind of sweeping back down there and from the head you want this kind of little little curve there I think it's quite hard to just explain. I don't think this is an easy kind of follow these steps, and that's the way to do it. Um, I think you probably want to look at lots of photos, and I think just watching how 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 I'm doing it. See, look 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 at lots of photos, um, and kind of work it out. Um, so how are we doing for tax three? Okay, I'm not going to wink this one because I don't think there's going to be time. So I'm going to do this all in pencil. Um, and what day is it? Today? I have no idea. It's Sunday, I think. <laughs> it is Sunday. And uh, I'm sure the eyes don't look like. I'm sure I've got the eyeballs probably all completely wrong. Um, so it's yes, yeah, Sunday, and this is the weekend of the royal wedding. Where, well, you might be watching this, of course, in a hundred years' time. So, um, <laughs> the royal wedding in which um, Prince William married Catherine Middleton, and I've been doing lots of um, royal wedding videos, and some people are getting a bit fed up with them, and they want me to get on and back to doing some drawing in the last couple of days I've been in London and haven't done any drawing school videos at all and people are now starting to complain and say when am I going to do more drawing so here we are this is it <laughs> I've just got back from London about a quarter of an hour ago and I'm already drawing for you and, uh, and put a little bit of kind of 
curve in there will give it a bit of shape. And these aren't really stripes, but there's a kind of a pattern in there. Um, and then you kind of want to have this crisscross pattern as well. Um, to give that kind of snake skin look. And then again, as you come around the body, so let's get this shape absolutely, get it right. Now that's going to be coming around there. So that will be kind of, it's not quite right. Um, that will be kind of aiming around to be kind of the top. This this will be coming around to kind of be this top here, but you don't really want it to be that obvious because then that will make it will make it very triangular. Um, so we will start this line there, so it's not obviously triangular. And again, this will kind of come back there, and you're going to want to have. It kind of disappearing behind there, and then this will kind of appear from behind there. Um, and I think you know if you if you wanted to do it in ink, then I think you probably if you work it out like this, then you can. Oh, oh, that's about the third interruption I had actually. So anyway, um, you're gonna want these kind of angles, but. You, it, you've got to get the kind of the the slightly curvy, and you want to get the get the right kind of feel for it to give it the, the these these kind of curves will give the the shape um, and give it a kind of a feel of of the skin as well, um, like that. And again, so so these aren't just straight lines, these are kind of curves. And you want them to kind of curve around the corner. And all the way along like that. And all the way down the rest of the body. Um, and that would be kind of like that. Um, and then you want them to be, you want them quite, you want it to be quite dark behind there, so that the, the, and quite dark behind there, that will allow the, the kind of the neck to stand out much more. And actually you really want to kind of follow the contours of the, the, the shading. Um, and I want to make it a bit darker around down at the bottom, like that. And again, a bit darker down at the bottom. Probably a bit in there. Um, it's going to be quite a bit darker under there because that, that the, the hood of the the cobra is going to be creating a a shadow like that, and you're probably going to get little bits of shadow there. So we want to create a bit of shadow on the ground as well, where the body is. Um, Creating a shadow in the light, and that's kind of, kind of how to draw a cobra. And of course, I often say, <laughs> my problem is I'm an illustrator, and I kind of put these little wiggles in there just to uh, add a bit of, you know, storytelling. I suppose is what it is. And you're going to want kind of um, stripey kind of things around. You know, sort of skin marks. I think they've got little noses as well, haven't they? I think so. Um, how are we doing? I, I think I'm going to have to call that it in a minute. And and I think if you kind of drew that as a practice, and you can and trace it for to do if you wanted to ink over it or whatever. Um, and I think one thing you could do to try and make it. No, it's not going to work, is it? I was thinking to try and give a bit of shine to it, you could try kind of erasing little bits which would then, oh, that's kind of tricky, 
No, that's very tricky doing that. I thought I might be able to erase a little bit of a highlight to make it look a bit shiny. Um, so, something like that. Oh, that's not too bad. There we go. How to draw a cobra. I uh, hope you enjoy that. If you did, uh, keep coming back to the Surrena Drawing School where we will be doing proper drawings for a little while now. <laughs> no more royal weddings. Okay, so keep coming back to the Surrena Drawing Channel on YouTube and uh, keep drawing, keep practicing, keep hissing, and uh, I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe so you can come back and see more videos. Okay, bye, take care.